to learn how to completely transform your entire life step by step. Get my book, Awaken the Creator Within. You can get it on Amazon. It's $11.99 for a paperback or 99 cents for an ebook. I love you guys. Enjoy. Hey, Scorpio. Let's do your reading. I have reconciliation. Let's do another one for just general. What's up? Okay, so you've been in this sad embrace. You have someone coming in, a sad embrace, and then this uh, unexpected visitor with reconciliation. So Scorpio, your person is probably going to show up out of the blue. What do we need to know? Yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign. You walked away or they walked away from this person, okay? So this person, they were coming in and out of your life, okay? Probably like whenever they felt like it. You walked away or they walked away, okay? I feel like you finally ended up walking away and left this in the past. You've done your own work on yourself, you're now sitting in the queen of pentacles energy. Don't get hung up on signs. I like this because Empress at the bottom. You're very focused on your own security, your own wealth. I'm getting pulled to the mountains behind her. Usually if I get pulled to those, it's like all of your hard um, the hard stuff is behind you, okay? You don't have to climb mountains anymore. Things are going to get a lot easier for you. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. This person is coming in. They want to communicate, collaborate. <clears throat> they want to move forward. You're also showing up as this high priestess. I love this for you. They want to move forward. They want to take you out of this chaotic water, okay? So the Seven of Swords for me is always, or Six of Swords. Six of Swords for me is always moving out of this wavy water, okay? Emotional, turbulent times into much calmer waters. But you keep looking back at the past. And it's almost like, and this card literally fell on top of this queen of pentacles. It's almost like you keep looking back at the past and then looking down at your value, your worth saying, this doesn't add up. Your behavior in the past doesn't add up with what it is that I'm worthy of. <clears throat> For some of you, you're not gonna take this person back. Others of you, of course, you will be taking them back if there's been some type of significant change. I'm getting pulled to the rabbit here, the white rabbit. Like this is about fertility. You're no longer in a lack state. It's like, I don't need to take anybody back because I'm amazing, okay? It's finally getting to the point where you don't tolerate this stuff any longer. You have your boundaries. You know your worth. You've healed from this broken heart too. This person left you in the three of swords. Four of swords is healing, putting those swords to rest, right? Laying those three swords, the broken heart, to rest. All along... So sixes and sevens are going to be significant for you. All along, though, you were planting seeds. Even while you were with this person, we're dealing with this person. Okay, some of you are walking away from this person, okay? So that's that. It's a done deal. Close the door. Don't ever look back. For those of you who are... Deciding to move forward with this person, it's like I will no longer be treated 
hot and cold, okay? Like you putting your foot down. I will no longer be emotionally like drug through the, the mud, up and down, up and down, up and down. No more hot and cold. You planted these seeds for what it was that you wanted in this relationship and you're gonna start seeing signs. That's on top of the high priestess. You've, like you've known all along that this person was gonna come back in. And you were, you're like all over them. You're making it very clear to them that they can't manipulate you, okay? They can't play these games with you. And it's like, I'm in charge. You're this magician. This is what I want. Give me what I want or I'm moving forward on my own. Okay, so notice all of these colors. Very similar. That yellow is all the healing that you've done. And this garland is like all the celebrating that you're going to be doing in this new timeline. I feel like you've completely jumped into a new timeline. <clears throat> What's blocking us? What else do we need to know? I have recovery. Mysticism. These are both third eye. Okay. Um, this mysticism in the book, like the technical definition, is someone like randomly just showing up at dinner very similar to this unexpected visitor. With this third eye though, you know, you know that it's coming. You, you no longer allow people to like trick you and leave you in this despondent energy, okay? You don't do this anymore. You don't need to worry about this. If you have a fear that by taking someone back or even being in a new relationship with someone else, if you have a fear that this person, that the next person will be able to manipulate you or like have your emotions all over the place, it's not even possible. You're not that same person. The decisions that you make today are very different from the decisions that you made in the past. Enlightenment. It's like you've had this light bulb moment about yourself, about your life. And like I'm getting pulled to the child, like having this rebirth situation. You're in a completely new timeline. You're not the person that you were in the past. I have divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. That owl. I'm getting pulled to the owl on there. And I'm getting pulled to all the fire. Especially like, I think that's a volcano. Like in the center Really learning how to channel your energy into the things that you're passionate about and following your intuition, like really tapped into your higher self and finally listening to the guidance that you're receiving. Third eye, crown chakra are very important for you guys. Okay, so sixes are, are significant, sevens are significant, fours, fives, and nines, okay? Any of those numbers, if you're seeing... Those are some synchronicities for you. Love you guys. Enjoy.